How you doing? Hey, Kamani, how's it going? I'm doing uh, good. How are you? Doing good. Uh, Y'all have gotten off to some pretty slow starts. Your first three SEC games, first halves. Uh, can you put your finger on on why that is and what y'all can do to to maybe get off to better starts? Um, uh, it's tough. You know, I mean, I mean, I've been here for the past two years or past three years, and you know, second year or last year we had some slow starts too. I think it's just a lot of new. When you have a lot of new guys, we gotta get used to how conference play is and everything like that. And of course, missing free throws and how we're shooting is not really helping us, but we always find a way to click. So I think we'll be fine down the road. And you mentioned this isn't your first rodeo um, for these new guys. I mean, two, one and two in SEC play. How do you think they're handling this adversity so far? Uh, I mean, no one likes losing on this team. So everybody's in the gym, everybody working super hard, super extra to just figure it out and fix uh, every correction that's being made. I mean, if anybody's not bought in, I bet they're bought in now. So uh, must been on is pretty hard. Um, we're listening. Uh, we're working and we'll figure it out. Uh, I have supreme confidence in this team, so we'll be fine. Curtis? Hey, Kamani, obviously you guys got a top five opponent coming to town on Wednesday. I imagine Bud Walton will be, you know, kind of a madhouse. So yeah. what's the uh, what's the excitement level for playing in an atmosphere like that again? And And then, you know, how important is it to kind of bounce back and hold serve here at home, regain a little bit of momentum? Yeah, I mean, every big matchup is uh, super important for us. It's super fun. I mean, it's just a great opportunity to uh, prove why we feel like we're one of the top teams. Um, they're a great team. They're uh, definitely on a roll here. So going into Bud, like you said, Bud's going to be a madhouse. You know, I think we got one of the best, if not the best, home court advantage uh, of all college basketball. So uh, I just can't wait to see the atmosphere in there and uh, how we're going to compete against them. It's going to be a really fun matchup. And then offensive rebounding has, has definitely not been an issue for you personally, but around yeah. Christmas time, you guys ranked around 200th in the country as a team, uh, but you're second in the league since SEC's play started. Has that been an area of emphasis for you guys, and how important is that going to be moving forward? Yeah, I mean, most definitely it's, it's been an area of uh, emphasis, but also when you're missing a lot of shots, you tend to get a lot of offensive rebounds. So um, hopefully – Hopefully we don't rank that high anymore and hopefully we'll start knocking down some shots. But if not, um, we're definitely going to clean up the old boards for sure. Thank you, Bob. Hey, hey, Kamani, staying on that theme, I, I, I was looking it up. You got 24 offensive boards. I'm talking about you personally and 23 defensive can't believe there are a whole lot of guys that have more offensive boards. Than yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like kind of my thing. I, I like to go get the mo boards. I'll be telling the guys, just shoot it. Don't worry about it. Shooting, if you miss, I'll, I'll clean it up for you. Well, what do you think? Obviously, you're 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 big and you're strong and aggressive and all that. What what do you think is the key to 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 you rebounding that that well um, on the offensive end? Uh, I think just. Uh, positioning, always having a nap for the ball. I mean, during my whole career, I kind of, that's kind of been my thing. I've kind of ranked high in offensive rebounding um, since I've played in college. So, uh, man, I don't even know what to tell you. Honestly, I just find a way to get them. How much of that do you think is, um, you know, want to attitude, just, you know, saying that, that that's my, that's my rebound, you know? Yeah, it's most definitely, uh, it takes heart, it takes grit. You got to want to do it for sure. Not a lot of uh, people want to do it. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people focus on other parts of the games. And I've always tend to watch like the Kevin Garnett's and the Dennis Robbins growing up. I, I, I tend to like focus on the high energy players. So uh, I guess that's who I tend to model my game after. And, and then um, I think, I think, you know, Alabama's got really good big men, especially Miller and Clowney. Um, I think they got three of the top 10 rebounders in the league or something like that in league games. Well, what's your take on the matchup of like you and, and Makai and Jordan and other bigs against their bigs? Yeah, I mean, I think our front court has done a, a great job during SEC holding other top front courts to uh, below their averages in uh, points and rebounds. So I think it's just a, another matchup that the front court is going to take pretty personable because I feel like not a lot of people are talking about us as much as the other front courts in the SEC coming in. Um, I mean, like you said, though, they have a lot of great bigs and uh, it's going to be a fun matchup. We'll see. Yeah, I got a couple more if time allows. I'll, I'll turn it back to Mike. Th thanks, Kamani. Of course. Scotty? Yeah, Kamani, I think you were red shirting two years ago the last time Alabama came here. I think they were yeah. sixth in the country at that time. Uh, what do you remember about that game, maybe the celebration or, you know, what did that that win maybe mean to the program in terms of where Eric wanted to take it? 
Yeah, I mean, it was a big one for us. Uh, I remember um, even like during COVID, the crowd was pretty, uh, it was a pretty good crowd. And uh, I remember Petty getting kicked out the game and then JT getting kicked out the game. So for intensity purposes, uh, I guess us in Alabama might have a little robbery going on since I've been here at least. And um, uh, it's just going to be a fun matchup. It's always high energy when we play them. Um, a lot of trash talking, just an aggressive game. I mean, them two teams that feel that they're at the top of the SEC competing for the SEC title, um, like one of those teams that could compete for SEC titles. So uh, whenever we get one of those early matchups, it's just like a kind of like, you know, chest pumping match for sure. And then secondly, just what's jumped out to you about AB in these first three SEC games and just maybe the way he's handled himself? Oh, man, I mean, he, he's growing in front of all of us, just how poised he is as a freshman, especially uh, our last game on the road. Uh, things weren't really going our way, but he was still performing good. Uh, I think how aggressive he is, uh, it's really good for us because he's a playmaker. He doesn't like to uh, like look at his shot first, but we're just going to need him to do that for us a little bit more. So, um, you know, I've been in his ear about just being more aggressive and, you know, not worrying about if anybody thinks you're selfish because any anybody on our team, we're not really focused on that. We're focused on winning, and that's what we're going to need for him to do uh, for us to win. So I've been really impressed with A.B. Um, you know, if you talk to him, he's just going to talk about how we're, how we're one and two, but I've been really, uh, really impressed with A.B. so far. Mason? Yeah, come on. Coach Musselman talked after the Auburn game about, you know, you guys need to get into the gym a little bit more. Have you guys or have you seen anybody step up since then, you know, get in the gym a little bit more outside of practice? Oh, uh, yeah, our whole team was in the gym uh, this morning. Uh, we're holding ourselves accountable. I think after that loss on the road, things kind of really settled in that, like, you're not going to be able to win in the SEC a lot if you're not working on your game. So, I mean, everybody has been in the gym. It's probably my second, third time being in the gym uh, before practice. So we're working. Trust me, we're working. <laughs> and then he talked about needing more guys to be better at being cutters. Do you, can you think of anybody who might be able to step up and kind of fill that role that you guys are missing as far as cutters go? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, last year you talked about how great of a cutter Adis Tony was for us. And I mean, you guys seen it. That's uh, We got a lot of points just from cutting last year. Um, I think A.B. could cut when he's off the ball. Devo, of course. Uh, Ricky could cut for us. Myself included, I could cut a little bit more. I think all around the court, we're such long and athletic, and um, I think it will help, especially when, when these teams are playing zone, if we can just get the ball to the middle and then cut. You know what I mean? Bob, final follow-up? Yeah, Kamani, um, you know, Houston, uh, um, Alabama, they wanted Houston. That's probably the best road win in the country this year they beat North Carolina Michigan State and Portland they've been really good on the road they're three and oh and maybe in watching film of them if you have or just watching games what do you think makes them a, a tough road team uh just how well that they shoot the ball and their, their length this year is uh insane I mean there's guys on that team that were playing the bulk of the minutes last year that are uh, coming off the bench this year. So it really shows how uh, they improve talent wise. But I mean, college basketball is kind of like the wild, wild west this year. You see teams winning on the road, losing on the road. Like there's no for sure team that's just been super dominant all the way out through. So uh, saying that um, anybody can be beat on any given night and every night is a, is a war, is a battle. So you just gotta come be prepared and, and you know Jordan, he had ten boards the other the other night. He's averaging eight seven uh, in in league play. Kind of what what's what your take on Jordan as a rebounder? How how he's been rebounding of late? Yeah, I mean Jordan's always been super uh, in the areas he's been great at is rebounding, defending. Um, you know what I mean? And and he's coming along offensively. So uh, with Jordan is it's it's a confidence thing. And I think as long as he's confident, he as long as he's confident, he's he's gonna be a great player for us. And as you guys have seen, he's been playing with confidence here uh, in the SEC and he's coming along and things still haven't clicked all the way for him, but it will click all the way for him. And I'm, I'm a thousand percent sure for that. Okay, thanks. Can't, can't, can't be better than a thousand percent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Thanks, Kamani. Appreciate you. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day.